All right. So this is using valence bond theory and hybrid orbital theory to explain bonding in molecules. So we already saw this, but single bonds are always a sigma bond. A double bond is a sigma and a pi. A triple bond is a sigma and two pi's. So one thing we, one skill we have is counting sigma and pi bonds. So how many, uh, tragic, how many sigma bonds and how many pi bonds are in the acetic acid molecule here? So sigma, let's count them. You, okay, pause me and count. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sigma bonds. And how many pi bonds? Surely we need another color for this. Let's go with black. And there's my pi bond, one pi bond. We can do this here. Again, there's this, oh, come on. Summary, so sigma bonds are electron density between the atoms. Pi bonds have electron density above and below. All right. Uh, single bonds are just a sigma bond. Double bonds are a sigma and a pi. Triple bonds are a sigma and two pi. So look at these molecules and count how many sigmas and pi's you have. Are you done? So sigma, one, two, three, four, five. How many pi's? Zero. All right, how many sigmas? One, two, three. How many pi's? One. All right. Um, how many sigmas here? One, two, three. It was a trap. That represents an SH sigma bond, doesn't it? And then we have two pi bonds. Uh, and just because we can, let's go back and assign hybridization on each atom. So what's the hybridization and shape on carbon here? It's sp3 and tetrahedral. What about this oxygen? Also sp3 and tetrahedral. Carbon, three things around it, three sigma bonds around it. So it's sp2 hybridized, trigonal planar. O, three things, two lone pairs and a sigma bond, also sp2 planar. These guys are both sp and linear. And sulfur is, how many things around him? Four, two lone pairs and two sigma bonds. So he's sp3 and tetrahedral. All right, so that is a summary. Of